Hey guys, Stoney Keeley here. If you've been keeping up with Sobros Network for a long time, you know the last month has been kind of turbulent. We haven't been producing as much as we normally do. I think we've done two podcasts all month so far. So if you don't know, like I got COVID and that made us enter our two-week holiday break a little earlier than expected, I'm still kind of getting over that. My voice is still recovering as you can you can hear on this, but Part of that means you have to cancel your parties, right? You can't be spreading COVID around. So we had to cancel the 2022 Sobros Awards ceremony, and I hated it because we didn't get the chance to recognize the Sobros team for all the fabulous work they put in in 2022. But it brings me to today and the video I'm recording now. I do want to announce the results of the 2022 Sobros Awards voting for Sobro of the Year. Now, for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to announce the results, and then I'm going to drop a link in the comments on this video, this post, where you can read more about the Sobros team, how special it is, the things they've accomplished in 2022, so check that out. Now, I know in this country, we hate ties, right? Wasn't it Bear Bryant that once once said tying a ball game was like kissing your sister? But in the spirit of the Sobros Awards, the recognition for a solid body of work and a good year, at the Sobro Awards, I never break the ties. So it weighed on me. It weighed on me a little bit. Do we have a revote? Sobro of the year ends in a tie. Do we have a revote? Or do we respect the spirit of what these awards are about? and recognizing greatness and say, you know what? Maybe we just have more than one Sobro of the year this year. And ultimately, that's where I landed because I think it speaks to the unity of this team. I think it speaks to the talent, to the creativity, to the production, the success of this team that more than one candidate can be worthy and deserving of this award. So without further ado, let me announce the 2022 Sobros of the Year with 23.5% of the vote, Brittany Fernandez. And tied with 23.5% of the vote, Mr. Stephen McCash. And with 23.5% of the vote, Mr. Brandon Bick. And yeah, this is not a loop with 23.5% of the vote, Mr. Ryan Yearwood. Congrats, guys. You earned it. Thanks for all your hard work and pushing the vision, the ambition of Sobros Network. You've earned it. 